Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you today. Basically, as we are putting together the uh, finalized uh, things, waiting on the, the last pieces of the puzzle of the WrestleMania 32 trip to be all uh, sealed and dealed. I, I believe that on Monday Night Raw, they ran a commercial basically saying that it was around 70 days until WrestleMania. And I, I got my fingers crossed. I'm 100% honest with you guys that uh, I am really fired up for this trip. I, I really only know one match that's going to be going down WrestleMania. I know I'm I'm really looking forward to a lot of the shows surrounding um, WrestleMania. Probably Wale Mania might be the number one thing that I'm excited for. Um, I really want to go see uh, WrestleCon. I really want to see the NXT show. Um, and uh, the one of the things that I was really looking forward to is hopefully Lucha Underground running a show WrestleMania 32 weekend. Um, there was reports out there that basically um, Lucha Underground was looking for a way to run the show. Uh, it was reported that uh, all of the uh, the wrestlers on the Lucha Underground roster uh, were told uh, not to take any bookings WrestleMania weekend because of the fact that they wanted to put a hold on them so they would be available uh, to, to work a show that weekend. Um, but uh, it looks as if uh, time has run out and basically um, Lucha Underground is not going uh, to be running a show. I know that WrestleCon has, has tweeted out many times when being asked about what um, talent is going to be uh, wrestling on the WrestleCon Super Show and um, they say they were waiting to release uh, the names um, to, to, to who was going to, to to wrestle because of the fact they were really hoping to have Lucha Underground talent on that show. Now it seems that if you want to see the Lucha Underground talent wrestle, uh, I know last year, um, you know uh, Johnny Mundo, uh, John Morrison uh, wrestled a match um, against ACH. That was a really really good match. Uh, but this year they're looking to bring more of those guys. Uh, I know some people from from AAA uh, wrestled in a a three way that was fucking phenomenal. Uh, last year, but uh, Lucha Underground, even though it's a show that uh, I don't, I don't get to see. I, I've watched a few, um, you know, clips. I've watched uh, the 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 big Royal Rumble match they had. Uh, I wish it was a show that I could get into. I wish they would have released like a best of season one DVD um, to get people hyped up for season two, which debuted off last night and. Um, a lot of people were, you know, sort of in doubts uh, that Lucha Underground was going to die when it went through its hiatus um, from season one to season two. And, uh, you know, the El Rey Network was able to scrounge up the money and, and put together um, season two, which pe got people really excited. But from listening uh, to Wrestling Observer um, today, the, the Observer Radio with Dave Meltzer, it was a, the, the lead story on the show, um, basically saying that uh, Lucha Underground possibly wasn't in the best place that they should be in. And it almost started to sound that they're, they're going down the road of uh, TNA, uh, where many of the talents have not been paid um, for the season one yet, and um, it just it's just sounding this. It's starting to sound like it's uh, it's going down the wrong road. Uh, I know that they, they do short seasons where they film everything in a matter of a couple weeks. Um, they show them for a period of months, and then they. Uh, I, I had heard. The hiatus wasn't going to be as long this year going into Season 3. But uh, Lucha Underground not appearing in WrestleMania weekend. Uh, kind of a bummer. Um, so... If you want to see a lot of that talent wrestle, WrestleCon Super Show is possibly the place that you're going to want to be uh, to see a lot of those guys because they uh, are going to be offering those people to work uh, for that show.